Beyond the edge of darkness, there is a world of sword and sorcery. I am, I am, I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. You must. Hello and welcome to the Dungeon Crate Podcast. My name is Wayne and I'm your host today and the founder of Dungeon Crate, which you can find at DungeonCrate.com. So first off on the show, I want to give some Dungeon Crate updates. We had shipping day. Everything is out, headed to your castle doors. I want to give a big shout out too to my crew. Every, you know, every month I get volunteers, friends of mine that come in that love Dungeon Crate the stuff and all that. Uh, and we have a good time. We talk a lot. We laugh a lot. We uh, have snacks. It's really fun. We have a good time packing, and you can follow us on our social media on Shipping Day when we do that. kind of gives you a little bit behind the scenes on how it works. And uh, You can find some, uh, I think I put some videos up, as well as some photos, up on our Instagram, as well as up on our Facebook page and different social media. So go check that out. And again, thanks to thanks to my friends that are give us a hand every, every month. It means a lot. Uh, renewal Day was yesterday. And again, thank you for the support there as well. Now, when renewal happens, I want that kind of reminds me to remind you all to uh, double check your subscriptions. Go in there, log into your account, make sure that your address is correct. Make sure it's the default address that it will show up on your on your uh, that it will show up on the postage label. If you have multiple addresses on there, you can try and delete one and just keep that that main one. There's a little tip. Uh, if you have problems with this, please email me at info at dungeoncrate.com. We'll make sure that we can get the, your subscription uh, ship shape. Make sure your address is there so the, these crates get to you. All right. So a few other things. We have some updates to our website. Go there. Check out the website. Uh, the treasury is right there. Also, if you're interested in Dungeon Crate, that is the place to go. DungeonCrate.com. Right on the front page. You can scroll down. It's got all the information you need on your on your subscription. So, And if you are a member right now, Hey, why don't you check out that page and let us know if there's anything that uh, in your experience that we need to change or maybe that would make it more clear for people that are trying to get more information. And also, while you're there, why don't you go shopping? Woo! I put some new stuff on there and I've also ordered some new miniatures. We're going to be getting in some new Lords of Adventure Wargames exclusive store stuff, which I'm excited about. Uh, You'll only be able to buy in the store. We're coming up with some designs for some of our things as well as uh, items from past crates. If you are looking to try us out, want to see the quality of our products, uh, that's the best way to do it, too. All right. <clears throat> Let's uh, also, oh, yeah. While you're there, if you haven't yet, if you're a member already, you're probably on the email list. But if not, you can sign up on the newsletter. Uh, it's free. And what I try and use the newsletter sign up for is just our uh, weekly Raven. And I'm trying to make sure that's weekly. And the Raven is going to be tips and tricks for DMs and players, pretty much. I want to. We have a great blog. You can check it out. Kevin Coffey writes our blog. We have other submissions, but uh, uh, we always review the crate. But he has a lot of great tips for players and dungeon masters. And part of what this email, uh, the Weekly Raven, is going to be is is that if you want to get some fun information rather than a big sales pitch on that. Now, we might have also on Friday if we uh, put out an email there to our entire email list. That's going to be something that we're going to you know showcase any sales or blowouts that we have in our online store for you guys for the weekend in case you need to get anything for a game so yeah go check that out too and uh, if you scroll down on the left hand side that's where you can find the blog and i might i'll leave that in the show notes here too so you can go check out our, our dungeon crate blog always some fun helpful information from kevin coffee there as a rogue it's easy for me to spot the perfect mark i get anything i want with a little distraction and patience but as a role player, screw patience. I can't wait for my Dungeon Crate to arrive every month. Dungeon Crate brings me amazing RPG accessories like dice, minis, adventures, and lots more. And rumor has it around the guild, you also get a digital crate with even more secret extras. Dungeon Crate has what I want. Take what you deserve and become a member of Dungeon Crate today at DungeonCrate.com. All right, so next up, I want to talk Dungeoneers. Yes, I am right now. It's on my desk. See, I'm right here. I've got a Dungeoneer badge in my hand. Uh, I've got the badges cut. I'm, I'm adding a little bit of decoration. Now, if you're part of the Adventurers Guild, I posted a picture up there. You can check that out. Finishing up those badges, and we're sending out digital packets for the Dungeoneers soon. 
and printing out physical packets with a box of the stuff that you're going or a bag possibly i'm not sure how big it's going to be but with all the stuff that you're going to need including the badge that i'm currently crafting for you so very excited about the dungeon program we've got our people uh, we've got emails going out to people that are interested in being a Dungeoneer. If you're listening to this, if you're a member, if you want to be a Dungeoneer, go ahead and uh, send us an email. You can do that again at, at info at DungeonCrate.com. Now, for those of you that don't know anything about this, my idea was this uh, to create kind of a street team. And the street team, since I can't go to all the conventions and everybody seems to want to help promote Dungeon Crate in some way, which I found was, was great, was fantastic. I mean, I can't even tell you how much that means, but... But yeah, they, they want to go out and they want to do the adventures or they, they do these things. And I felt, well, why? If they're going to do that, I can give them more stuff to hand out if they want and more kind of rewards. But I wanted to gamify it. I wanted to give back to the Dungeoneers that were promoting us. And that's kind of that, that group, kind of that street team mentality. Mentality. So I helped, you know, we, we got our, our minds together over here at the uh, Dungeon Crate headquarters. And we came up with a program I think is hopefully going to just, I'm hoping it's going to be real fun for everybody. So those that we're going to pick these Dungeoneers and we've got them packets. I've been talking about this for about a year now and I wanted to gamify it. So what we do is uh, the, the, if you fulfill these quests, which can be anything from posting a picture of your Dungeon Crate item to, to going out and running one of our adventures at, at your house or a convention or out at a game group at a game shop, uh, just different quests that we're gonna and we're gonna update these quests. You get experience points for those, and the more experience points you get, you can go up and level. And every time you level up, we offer you a very a nice uh, leveling uh, prize package incentives for those people that are chosen as dungeoneers. So you can apply at info or dungeoneers at dungeoncrate.com, or I think it's info at dungeoncrate.com. We'll post a link. You can apply to become a Dungeoneer. And uh, we we have to pick them. We've got some qualifications. And we just, you know, we want to, we're just getting started here. So I think we've got a, a good group. But if you're still interested, you can go ahead and email us and let us know. So another thing I wanted to talk about, since we're covering the Dungeoneers and people that are helping promote us, was the Dungeon Crate Adventurers Guild. Now, I talk about this on the live events, and I don't know if I've really uh, said this much in the, uh, in the podcast, but the Dungeon Crate Adventures Guild started out, if you, if you don't know if you're a member or you don't know if you're new or whatnot, it started out as a trading post. Now, I was looking back a few years ago, I was looking for ways to maximize the crate. I wanted to find out why, you know, how, since I have to get everybody the same items, I know that everybody's tastes are different. So some people are going to like some of the items, but not all of them. And some other people will have the same issue. But maybe they're different items. So I thought maybe I'll create a, a group that people can join that are, that are Dungeon Crate uh, uh, subscribers, members, and where they can actually trade items or, you know, sell each other items. So they, they both paid for them. They're both paid for. So I wanted, like, if you wanted more of the, uh, the Wraith Mini... And because you don't paint mini or because you love to paint minis and somebody else has a Wraith mini, but doesn't like to paint them, wasn't going to use them, but really wants the token, the firewall token or whatever that you, that, that, that he got that wanted more of. So those two people trade and it kind of started out that way. And some people did this, but what it ended up being was more of a community where people started posting their painted minis and people started talking about uh, their adventures and the things that they were using and we were starting to, and having their, other, their friends join because you don't have to be a member to join the Adventurers Guild. You just go find us on Facebook and you can join that up. And, and now, so we renamed it the Dungeon Crate Adventurers Guild. And now this is for anybody. You guys can go on there. You can It's a really great way to interact with the community that we've got, find out what they, uh, what they like, uh, what they're using on the table, find uh, just... They post photos of their painted minis, of the terrain, of the items in the crate, updates on their campaign. You'll find uh, different events that are posted there, photos that, are, that some of the members have gone to events and brought Dungeon Crate stuff or other stuff or have crafting ideas or maybe they have resources for D&D or Pathfinder or other games. It's kind of just there for everybody, but it's also just a great, a great way to trade items if you want. And again, it was maximizing the crate. I would also keep suggesting to trade on the Adventurer's Guild. 
if you have, you know, collect the items that you don't necessarily use and put them up there and see if you could trade those with somebody else in the Adventurers Guild. Because they might have, you could just make, you just barter. I just thought it would be really cool. So anyways, check it out. Find out if you can do that. Now let's go over there now because I, I was going to take a, this opportunity to uh, to head over there just to uh, give some shout outs here. Now one of the, our, uh, oh yeah. One of our, our big fans, David Barry, who I, I met up with at Gen Con again this year. He's got he posts a lot here, uh, some painted minis as well. Uh, you should check that out. He's got a dragon head that's on there uh, recently. Tokeo Tosho Yami showed a female half elf ranger image up there going down, and Alex Renazzi also posted up there. And yeah, so people are posting some of their crafts, they'll post some memes up there. We'll have news. I did want to see here. Da, da, da. I wanted to give a shout out to Curtis Glenn here. The past weekend, Money My- Monkey Mind Tabletop, a company we created to run D&D Adventures League at North Texas Cons, ran the D&D epic The Red War. This, a multi-table collaborative campaign featuring characters from level 1 to level 20. Each tier had different goals to destroy an elemental node. The first table in each tier to defeat their boss monster got to come home on stage, oh, got to come on stage and destroy a replica of the node. We had Dungeon Crate swag in each node for the players to split up. Thanks, Dungeon Crate. Hey, thank you, Curtis Glenn. And if you go on there, you can see it. I believe he's got a link on there that shows the... uh, that shows the pictures of the nodes. They were paper mache, and he must, and they were really cool. They're on like this pedestal, and you can crack them open and get the prize inside. How awesome was that? That was just really cool. So, Curtis, thank you for using Dungeon Crate in your nodes. <laughs> I never thought I'd be saying that. Uh, so, yeah. Um, also, I, I post links on here too for the other podcast that I do, uh, call and Joe. Also does I produce that one D and D the D and D five E podcast where that's basically where I'll put on a lot of things for either product reviews that uh, you know different things that you can use for role playing fifth edition information fifth edition discussions arguments depending on who's arguing with me and uh, other things like that so D and D five E podcast go check that out um, link on in the show page there as well. Uh, Nick Sigler, you're going to get a lot of stuff uh, here posted by him. You're going to be able to follow his campaign. He does his adventure logs up there. Another post on here from David Barry, who's also a tattoo artist. And he does some great fantasy work. So, yeah, go on there. Check it out. Sarah Cheney even's got, uh, he's, she's got her Reaper Ogre Smasher. That was back, uh, that was a few crates ago. All right, and scrolling down, we've got uh, GM John. Uh, he put a post on here. The big prize winners for Spokon Dungeon Crate giveaways. First crate sold at the charity auction. Right on. And uh, they raised $21 with that. And the grand prize winner was our guest of honor, Ellipsis. And he's got some pictures posted on there. You can check it out. Plus, I believe uh, he's got a link on there as well. So, all right. Thanks for posting that, GM John. Rolling down, of course, uh, more more photos on there of painted minis and different fun stuff like that. So, again, if, I, if, you, if you're listening to this and you haven't yet, go over to our Dungeon Crate Adventurers Guild on Facebook and give that a join. Uh, I'll approve it and uh, yeah, you could check out some fun stuff uh, that might show up in your feed every once in a while. So what is next on my list here? Uh, just I, I think a little bit more updates. Uh, we do have, I will be uh, trying to f- figure out some more live events every Wednesday. Hopefully, I don't think it's going to be down at the dungeon much more, but we had a lot of fun doing the Dungeon Crate Drive and that might happen as well. So you can check that out on Wednesdays at 11 o'clock uh, I try and do those every Wednesday unless I'm out of town or not there in the studio. But uh, Dungeon Crate Live. I think, again, we're going to try the Dungeon Crate Drive. But more info on that later. I think that's about it. I think that's all I got for you guys as far as Dungeon Crate updates. Uh, next time you might hear Trilogy on the show. So, But thanks for listening on this. Please share it if you like. Go find us at, dun- at the DungeonCrate.com. You can click on the podcast button right there. Or you can go to DungeonCratePodcast.com. Thanks again. And thank you for the support. Keep adventuring right here on the Dungeon Crate Podcast. And now a message from our founder after live kept crashing. 
we have no wireless connection. We have oh. a wired connection. It's hardwired directly. So what's going to reconnect? I don't know. The video has been paused due to poor wireless connection. Do we even know if we're on? Yeah, video gremlins have struck again. I, I am about ready to figure out a way different solution for our lives, so you guys. So we can do it on our phone? Yeah, well, I don't know. We're going to see. Our phone, what the, I mean your phone. Yeah, what the shit. Sorry, guys, if you can hear me, uh, we're going to try again here. God damn it. And everything sounds good. Everything looks good. What? I mean, what the fuck? How is it, how is it possibly wireless? It's directly hooked into the internet, to the modem. We went through all this. It's directly hooked up. There's not one need to call fucking Matt? wired thing. There's not, not a wired one fucking wired. You mean not a wireless not connection? A wireless thing. Not one. It's it is direct. It's like if we were doing this at Alex's house, in his there's, apartment. Is there something on your settings on your computer? No, it's not it. Mother, God. <laughs> yeah. That was my that was my tirade when uh, <laughs> when the lives don't work out. There you go, little boss. And I'd like to say thanks to number one Trilogy for putting up with me like this. You guys don't even know. <laughs>